The drought that Kansas has been in for years now is causing low water levels at area lakes. Cakes Brian Ramsdale joining us again with one of the lakes at a record low. Brian? Yeah, this lake right here, that's Wilson Lake. Right now it's over eight feet low, which equates to about eight billion gallons of water missing. This is one of the greatest lakes in Kansas, and it's just going to be a summer where we're careful and we pray for rain. Wilson State Lake is in desperate need of water. We're eight and a half feet low today. We have not been at Conservation Pool since September of 2011, and essentially the problem is uh, it remains quite dry. The lake is filled up by water from the Saline River. Right now, the lake is taking in around a gallon of water per second. The Army Corps of Engineers is required to release about 15 gallons per second during the summer. Also, eating away at water levels is evaporation. Well, the primary concern right now is the impact to recreation. There are nine managed boat ramps here on the reservoir, and as of today, only two of those are usable. It brings up a lot of structures that you normally, you know, are underwater. Sue Graham works at Knotheads Bait Shop. She says that even with the low water levels, Wilson Lake is still a great tourist destination. It's just beautiful. The clear water, the fishing, the, the scenery, the bike trails, the walking trails. We have so much to offer. Now, the month of June is when the lake usually gets most of the incoming water from that Saline River. Officials at the lake aren't saying people should stay off the lake, but should be careful. Something interesting out of this, I'm told fishing is really, really good in that lake right now because all the fish are concentrated into the deeper areas.